at World Youth Day in 2013 in Rio de Janeiro. We were on the beach, uh, the Copacabana Beach, and uh, there were eventually 3.5 million people at the closing mass, but at the opening papal welcome, there was an emphasis on St. Francis of Assisi and the message of the San, Dami the San Damiano cross that spoke to St. Francis that told him to rebuild the church that was falling into disrepair. And um, it was a, anyways, it was an unbelievably powerful evening and uh, Matt Marr, who is a contemporary Catholic musician, was there and he played for the very first time publicly the song, Lord, I Need You, which is now like played on Christian radio stations. And it was awesome. They're like all like three million people kneeling on the sand in front of our Lord, truly present in the Blessed Sack when you'd hear the wars, the, the waves crashing on the sea. And but anyways, in Pope Francis's um, reflections that night, he spoke about a field and he mentioned he used the field in three different terms. He said a field as in one where we compete sports, a field as one where we grow crops, and a field where we build a building. And our first reading today from St. Paul's letter to Corinthians says that for we are all co-workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. And it made me think about that night and it was a really powerful um, talk, the fact that I can actually recall it uh, probably says that, but he went on to elaborate about how we are a field and what happens on those three types of field and then made very, very like tangible and real images of athletic competition, what it takes to be an athlete, to strive and to work and to give everything and to leave it all on the field and to be willing to sacrifice for a team and what it means to be on a team, and it's really a great analogy of the church. Are we willing to give everything for Christ? Are we willing to give everything for our brother and our sister to your left, to your right, in front of you, behind you? Are you committed? Are you dedicated? Are you willing to sacrifice? It's our hope that when we put our young children in sports that they, they get these lessons and these understandings because our hope is that they're going to apply them to their life later. At least that's, I think, the goal. And then looking at a field as a place where seeds are planted and those seeds ultimately die, but in their death they become something more. And they grow and they're, they're, they're watered and they are nurtured by the sun just as we are nurtured by the son of God. We are watered through baptism and then we are called to bear fruit and that fruit is called to change the world. But the dangers of the weed and the heat, sorry, sorry the, the dangers of weeds and the heat and the rocky soil and how we need to be attentive to the, the soil that's around us, and that we're making ourselves accessible to the sun and to the water. And then also, lastly, a field is a place where a building is built. Prior to building a building, you need to have a good foundation, and the Pope just made reference to the fact of, like, it needs to be a flat field if you're going to build a building. And it needs to have that strong foundation before you build. And we, as the church, are rooted on the foundation of Peter's faith that we heard about two weekends ago in our Sunday reading in Matthew chapter 16. And our faith has to be rooted in the sacraments. It has to be rooted in biblical foundations of truth. It has to be rooted upon reason. And when it's built upon that, it can stand tremendous storms and can be steadfast against the challenging times that await us. 
So tonight, I just want to present to you those three fields, athletic fields, farmer's fields, and a field prepared for a building, and to realize that your faith brings you here, your faith calls you then to live that. And they were called to encounter our Lord in the field. For you are God's co-workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. Let's pray that as we are God's field, we may truly be prepared to be the saint that he is inviting us to be. Amen. Let us stand.